Three reasons not to buy the Hero Zoom 110. First, there's an intermittent vibration in the floorboard as you go from zero to say 50 kilometers an hour. It's not a lot of vibration, but it's some vibration in the ocean of smoothness that is the scooter market today. Hero should have ironed it out. Second, some of the choices Heroes made make the Zoom 110 harder to use. For example, you've got two key slots, one for the ignition, one for the release for the seat. Under the seat is your fuel filler cap. There's a USB port you're going to discover by accident one day. The cubby holes are open to air, so you're going to have to empty them out every time you park the scooter. It's not very convenient. Third, this is an intangible, but the Zoom 110 is a stylish but a regular 110cc scooter in every other way. It doesn't represent any change in what's going on in the scooter market, which is a disruption-free space for a really long time. Tell us in the comments if you think that's important, that the scooter market needs to evolve and offer more innovation, or that scooters are scooters and this is okay.